Good morning, Facebook family, and welcome to our Monday's Reflect and Revive. And it's really great to be with you guys once again. I was off for a few weeks in December because my family was in and it was really busy. So I told Miss Abby that I would be back in January and here I am. Um, and I have a couple scriptures and a prayer for you guys. And the reason that I feel that the Lord has led me to these scriptures to share with y'all is because I know that there's so many of us going through tough times. I'm included. And um, I just want to encourage you that you're not forgotten and you're not forsaken. And you can trust God to see you through. You can trust in his promises and his word. Um, you can really, truly lean and depend on him. And the first scripture comes out of Psalms 138 verses 7 and 8. And it says, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hand. You know, it looks different for each and every one of us. And I know that for many, it is just worn down with this COVID business. I know for many of us, it's financial stress, financial burdens. I know that for many of us is depression because of the isolation, anxieties because you don't know what to do. It looks different, but God says that he will be perfect in everything that concerns us. He will be. It might not look perfect to you, but he will be. The second scripture, so I won't take too long because I think um, these devotions keep getting shorter and shorter. Pastor said five minutes, but I, I think I'm going to take longer than five minutes. But I really pray that this really touches you because I'm excited in what God is doing. I'm excited to see just um, a cleansing going on. You know, God reminded me um, actually Sunday. Remember Pharaoh, you know, God sent plague after plague to get him to where he needed to be and he never listened you know and as god god's people are we listening to what he is saying second scripture is out of jeremiah and it's verse i mean chapter 20 verse 11 and it says but the lord is with me as a mighty terrible one therefore my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail they shall be greatly ashamed they shall be greatly ashamed. That's what it says. They shall be greatly ashamed, those that come up against you. For they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall not be forgotten. God rises up a standard that the enemy cannot break through. And whether it's an enemy, a person, um, the enemy itself in the physical, spiritual realm, whatever it might be, he has no power over you. He has no power over me. He has no power over us. And that should excite us. And also, you know, again, when, you know, everything that's going on in the world, that should actually bring excitement because God is just preparing the earth for Jesus' coming. And we can buy all the guns in the world. We can buy all the ammo in the world. We can, you know, be prepared and stocked up with all the food in the world. But the only thing that's going to save us is Jesus Christ. That's it. Jesus Christ. And the prayer that I want to share with you guys, and I wrote it down because I read it in one of my um, books that I'm reading, and I thought it was pretty powerful. And it says, I lift my eyes to the heavens. I pour out my tears, grief and anger and frustration, and say in the very midst of them, God, I have no clue what this turmoil is all about or where it is leading, but this is my resolution. I will put my trust in you 
and I will praise you with all of my heart unconditionally. So regardless of what's going on, praise him. The enemy wants you down in the dumps. The enemy wants you to feel defeated. But if you praise him through your turmoil, through your storm, I promise that you will go out into a better place because I know that's what he has done for me. And I just pray in Jesus' mighty name that you receive his word. It's not my word. It's his word for you. And I also pray that 2022, that you would live the warrior that you are in Christ and that you would live in the favor that he has for you. I also pray in Jesus' mighty name that the enemy when he comes up like a roaring lion wanting to devour you and your family, I pray, that, I pray that you raise up a standard against him and you remember what the word says, just like Jesus said, as it is written, as it is written. And there's nothing impossible with God. Happy New Year's. And I look forward to seeing you guys and sharing with you guys next Monday. Um, God has really just filled me and, and just blessed me with so many, I don't know, just so many stories and so many scriptures and, and, and just a fight in my spirit. And I pray that you have that fight as well. God bless. Bye-bye.